Perhaps the most valuable tool that players have obtained for 100 cap is the Korean Gear Calculator. It simplified and provided information to players in a way that has solidified it as the holy grail of progression planning. But for all of its uses and all of its insights, there's always been a sentiment in players that we rely on it too much, without looking at the finer details. In pursuit of hyper-accurate results, players will even go as far as playing around the settings on websites like Dunfoff or Dundam in order to get detailed information about rotations. But there's another tool out there that we really ought to give a chance and has been gaining some popularity lately. For now, we'll just call it the Chinese calculator. And for anyone who would be asking why you'd want to use it, I'm just going to show you one picture. When done right, it is this accurate. As a disclaimer, none of the work in this video is my own. We'll be going over a translation done by Nublet in order to help you use this calculator more effectively. Thankfully, the first page is quite simple. Select all the epics, mythics, and products of wisdom that you want to test. Be sure to modify gear in the bottom left to match your amplifications and reinforcement. By default, all gear is 10 amped, with earrings being 12 reinforced. So use the symbols to simply match up, if you wish to desire your gear amped or not. Slightly to the right, you have your weapon at 12 reinforced and 8 refined. The plus 5 is senior your weapon area, and on each gear slot, refer to tuning levels in any applicable products of wisdom. Be absolutely sure to remove all titles and creatures in this box. We don't have the same creatures and pets that their server does. We'll have a workaround for our titles and creatures later. Leave the boxes on the bottom right of the first page unchecked. On the drop-down, it's best to use the middle option. This defines what the calculator will attempt to show you in regards to full sets or individual pieces. Unless you're doing an unconventional and advanced product of wisdom setup, it's best to stick with the default middle option. Page 2 goes into your skill mode, rotation, and talismans. Adjust skill levels on the first two columns based on your in-game skill tree. The numbers should match what the bottom of your skill icon says in the interface, and not what it says on the top right corner of this picture. Add levels to your passes based on platinum emblems, avatars, titles, and skill beads. You can ignore any warnings that pop up. We'll double check your passive levels to be correct later, so we'll come back to this. Select your desired talismans in the three dropdowns. You can find your talisman name by hovering your mouse over a skill icon on the left. Make sure you change your talisman grade to be Capello's, if applicable. Use your basic number recognition skills to select the right runes. Select your additional doping methods on the far right, and adjust your sandbag parameters. Then let's move on to the next page. We'll come back to this later. The third page is for your enchants and additional stats. Your default is going to look way scarier than this, so just do yourself a favor and empty everything on your version, and put every dropdown into the selected option over here. You can simply freeze the video here and fill everything in yourself, or use pictures in the description, so I'll move to the next important part here. Additional percent modifiers. This is where you add in the percent modifiers of your creature, aura, and pet. As an example, this picture shows 18 PMI from Victoria, 15 Smash from Midsummer, and 10 All Attack from the Enix Aura. At your own risk, you can simulate 10% skill rich modifiers from Midsummer or Page 2, or do some math. I'm not reading this. The last page is for your Roku and Perg options. You can choose how you want to do it here, but if you're using Gatekeeper, be sure to uncheck the box next to it. It will override your enchants from the previous page. Pause the video if you need to, but we need to go do something very important in page 2. On page 2, we should talk about your rotation making. The third column dictates how many casts you do, while the fourth column dictates how many of this cast are under the effects of a pet swap. If you select slash CD, it will fit in however much you can in a rotation, not counting your skill cast animation. This is useful for your big cubes and core skills, which you will always get maximum casts in, but you can't reasonably say you're going to get 26 casts of Nenshot in a 25 second sandbag with skills of animations that take several seconds. Go into the training room and get an accurate number, or your calculations are going to be inaccurate, and you're only going to hurt yourself. Now, all you need to do is go into the training room and proc any skill levels like Worldly. Hit Calculate in the calculator and compare the passive levels to your own. Note the difference and go back into page 2 to fix the levels on your passive. Now, hit calculate one more time, and you've got a personalized, calibrated gear chart. 